I'm a biologist who's been studying um, the health effects of fracking in the United States for the past two years, and I'm part of a, a group of scientists and physicians and other health professionals. We're called Concerned Health Professionals of New York, and we are alarmed by the emerging data showing the harms of fracking. Um, we're uh, concerned both about what we know, um, the, the evidence that's coming forward now in the medical literature, and we're equally concerned about what we don't know. So fracking has moved forward in the U.S. without any demonstration of safety. There is no evidence to suggest that it is safe, and plenty of evidence to suggest it is not. So um, I tried to, uh, today in the European Parliament to describe some of the evidence so one thing that we know with certainty now is that fracking does contaminate water. We have um, demonstration of this in four states uh, and uh, with new data coming out all the time. Uh, and we also know that air pollution follows fracking wherever it goes. And the kind of air pollution that's created is very harmful to people's health, is linked to asthma in children, uh, stroke and heart attack risk in adults, uh, and we now have emerging evidence for harm to infants born to mothers who live near drilling and fracking operations. Uh, and this is very uh, distressing. Um, we don't have absolute proof. We have only early evidence, but it raises important ethical questions about whether or not we should continue exposing people um, when we don't know what all the effects are. And so the message I bring to Romania is um, that we do not have any proof of safety. Um, we desperately need a comprehensive health impact assessment. And we in the United States in the public health community are calling for a national moratorium on fracking and a moratorium in the state of New York to give us the time to do the studies. Uh, and to, to go forward with fracking without these studies is really unethical. It turns people into lab rats. Uh, and this is not the right approach for any country, including Romania. So here in Romania, where fracking has not yet um, gone forward in a big way, you have time to stop, to hit the pause button, and to do the careful study that should be done before it moves forward. Um, and that study should uh, definitely look at the ability of the gas wells themselves to not leak. Is there any regulation that can make them leak proof? We haven't found any. Um, is it possible to frack without creating air pollution and without pouring methane into the atmosphere? So far, we haven't uh, found a solution to that. We also haven't found a solution to the earthquakes that we know are linked to fracking. And we don't know what to do with all the toxic waste that's created. So, so far, these are not our problems that have no solution. Uh, and so, um, a moratorium on fracking. Uh, followed by careful scientific study is the right order for things both uh, in the United States and in the United States. Politics in science, right? So shouldn't be any science development without following the ethical standards. So shouldn't proceed without covering that. You, you can't um, go into this blind. You have to let the science guide you. and. Right now, we have disturbing signs in the science showing that people are being harmed. Um, and we need um, to not keep going with this experiment uh, called fracking until we do more science uh, and let the results of the science determine whether to move forward or not. That's the approach we take when we uh, test things in the laboratory. Maybe it's a new drug we want to bring to market. We we have to test for safety first, and that's the step that was missed in the United States, um, and uh, that's a mistake that shouldn't be repeated here in Romania. Okay.